We are doing the home fitness test and we are going to test Jan's flexibility. We're starting with the back flexibility. What it is, is this test does the test the degree of flexibility of the rear thighs and lower back. So what Jan is going to do is she's going to sit and she's going to bend forward from the waist and reach for her feet. Ideally, she would like to touch her feet with no discomfort in the back of her thighs or lower back. So this is obviously an area that Jan needs to work on. And one way that she can improve it is by performing toe touches, stretching from standing and from sitting positions. The stretch that we're going to uh, test right now is hip flexibility. And what it is, is this tests the degree of flexibility of the hip and the back. So Jan is going to lie on her back and she's going to hug one knee to her chest and she's going to keep the other leg straight at the same point. Ideally, she can perform this, be able to hug her bent knee to her chest. To improve hip flexibility, you can perform top and front hip stretches to improve it and maintain flexibility. We are going to now test Jan's shoulder flexibility. This tests the degree of flexibility of the shoulder. She's going to reach her right hand behind her back and her left hand across her back towards her right shoulder blade. And she's going to try and clasp her hands together. Ideally, she can clasp her hands together behind her back. Obviously, Jan has good flexibility in this area. She can try the other shoulder at the same time now and see if she has as good flexibility there. Not as good, but still very good that she can have her fingertips touching. So she should be performing upper body stretches specifically for the back and shoulders to maintain this flexibility. Now we're going to test Jan's muscular strength and endurance with the curl up test. This tests the muscle's ability to do repeated activity. So she's going to lie on her back with her knees bent and feet flat on the on the floor. Her arms are straight at parallel sides to her body. And she's going to curl her upper spine so her fingertips move along the floor. So you're going to curl up and back down again. And curl up and down. So ideally we would have her fingertips moving closer towards her toes so that her abdominals are pulling her entire body up off the mat and we want to do at least 25 of them within a one minute time. <laughs> <That's five. laughs> this is we want to perform exercises specifically for the abdominals <laughs> to strengthen our core muscles. The next muscle strength and endurance test is the push-up test. This test indicates upper body strength. So you're going to lie on your stomach with your knees together and you're going to push up from the floor by fully straightening the elbows and using the knees as a pivot point. So you have your elbows at a 90 degree angle and you're going to push up and back down again. Ideally you're going to complete over 30 push-ups and you're going to perform push-ups and upper body strength training exercises to build your strength. 